We are seven days into the new year, and if you're having trouble with those New Year's resolutions, no worries. Health coach Beth Crumbine is here now with some advice for all of us. And Beth, we're seven days in. I'm hoping yes. most people are sticking with it, but maybe we need some motivation to help us out. Yes. Unfortunately, only um, 95 or 95 percent of people fail at their New Year's resolutions. 95 percent. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Rough. So a reason for that is a lot of times we're motivating ourselves through fear, through stress, through anger, and that's kind of a natural instinct in our American culture. You know, we're this go, go, go culture. Of course. And instead of that, and, and when you're losing weight, it can be a really lonely path. You can feel depressed. You can feel angry at yourself. How did I get here? And you know, it just goes into that negative train just of thought. Just beating yourself up. Yes, yes. So that's so common, and that is a short-term strategy for motivation. Yeah. I noticed that you said losing weight because that is the number one New Year's resolution. Yes. Across the board, most people say, I think they've been making that resolution for about 20 years straight. Yeah. I myself included. I, I, but it's, it's typical, and we beat ourselves up mm -hmm. over the littlest things. But yes. how do we say, okay, maybe I failed today, let's get back on track tomorrow? So one of the best ways to do this is to cultivate gratitude. And gratitude is the opposite of fear and depression. And it's a simple thing, but I love using this five-minute journal. It's basically you just focus in on simple things you're grateful for in the day. And then when you're looking at your goals, instead of saying, God, how did I get this way? I'm you know, 50 pounds overweight. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. You look at, well, I'm grateful for my children. I want to be a great role model for them. I'm going to be so much happier when I when I am with them. So you're really motivating yourself through those positive means instead of this just anger that's not going to last. I think that would be a really tough thing for people to do, especially if that, like you said, that's been our culture is just to, yeah. you know, look at ourselves in such a negative way, but to see the positive first and say, okay, this is what I need to work on. Let's yes. get there. Yes. Okay, so is this something that you recommend people pick up, or should we yes. head to your website to find more information? Well, tens of thousands of people use this. A lot of self-help people just highly recommend it. I use it myself every single morning. It's right on my nightstand. I just roll over, and I write what I'm grateful for. And it's so simple, and it lasts the whole week, the, the feeling. It, it seems almost too simple to seem like it'd make an impact, but it's but it really powerful. Does. It's very so powerful. Wait, so the five-minute journal comes with blank pages. And well, actually, actually, there's... Um, there's three things that you say you're grateful for for the okay. day, and then three things you want to focus on, and then your affirmation for the day. So, you know, I'm going to eat healthy because I love my body, whatever it might be. Then at night, you say three things that went really well and what you could have done a little better. And real quick, you're a health coach, so yes. you've got a website. It's BethLeahNutrition.com. Yes. What do you have there for people? Some free resources. Yes, free resources. Meal prepping is a huge thing that can really set you up for success. Um, that's basically prepping your meals for the day. I have a really in-depth uh, meal prep, free meal prep guide there. And that could be something that you focus on. I want to eat a little better today. I'm going to meal prep snacks. I'm going to meal prep my dinner, you know, something a little. And meal prep is really hot right now. Yeah. It really does make a big <laughs> difference. I've seen a lot of friends succeed that way. It does, because you don't want to be scrambling for what to eat next. It's stressful, if you're, especially if you're hangry, hungry and angry. <laughs> hangry. We've all been hangry before. Yes, I think we all have. All right, good advice. Yeah. Beth, thanks for being here. Thank you so much, Julie. And